Daily researchers are turning up new creatures, some adorable, some nightmare-inducing. Whether it's a bird that hunts its prey by decapitation or mosquitoes the size of tennis balls, here are 15 animals that will give you chills. Showed the crazy mouth move, but this video is the first evidence that pelican eels actually pursue their prey. <laughs> Number 15. Cassowary. This thing has to be the great ancestor to the Velociraptor. Just take a look at this thing. The cassowary has been hailed as many things, the world's deadliest bird, the flaunting dinosaur, and many more names. One thing stands out that makes this beautiful and majestic bird a terror, the claw. This thing is wicked. It wasn't that long ago that a Florida man was killed by one of these ferocious animals. Known as one of the most aggressive animals on the planet, the cassowary is no pet. That didn't deter this man who kept one on the family farm where he kept many other exotic animals as well. Though he's passed away, the man's fiance said he died doing what he loved. Like the emu and the ostrich, its cousins, it's a flightless bird. Unlike its cousins, it's gorgeous display of feathers that rivals the peacock. This bird looks like an art piece more than an animal. From blues and turquoise to magenta and reds, it tries to put on a show and looks like it wouldn't hurt a fly. Another nickname it's been given is the high fashion dinosaur and stands a little over a meter tall. They're heavier than most other birds as well, thanks to the density of their bones. To sum it up, the massive bird has heft, is built like a tank, has a switchblade attached to its powerful leg, and can run at incredible speeds. And these monsters exist on Earth? You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. The Giant Volta Eel It was just two years ago that two new eels were discovered and shocked the scientific world. The new species was discovered in the Amazon basin. It isn't just the fact that the new species were discovered, but also what they could do. The eel can deliver a record-breaking jolt of electricity. Their research uncovered that the giant Volta eel is capable of delivering a whopping 860 volts. This drastically overshadows the last record breaker who could only deliver a shock of 640 volts. The findings are evidence, researchers say, of the incredible diversity in the Amazon rainforest still unknown to science, and another testament to why it's so vital to protect habitats at risk from deforestation, logging, and human destruction. Many of these creatures, experts say, will probably harbor the cure to many diseases that have plagued humanity for some time. Number 13. Whip spiders. I just got over my fear of spiders not too long ago, and here comes Mother Nature with a swift kick to the face. These terrifying arachnids aren't actually spiders though, so I guess they still got that going for them. Whip spiders, also known as whip scorpions, are actually neither spider nor scorpion. These strange creatures belong to a separate, just as awful arachnid order called amblypygid, meaning blunt rump, a reference to their tailless rump. Before the turn of the century, this terrifying arachnid had yet to make itself known to humans. Still, once it did, it turned on the science community like never before. It wasn't sporting some new toxin that could save lives or a silk tough enough to stop a bullet. Still, it could change sensorial understanding for robotics and prosthetics. We're talking about being able to feel with robot fingers. Researchers have discovered that more than 150 species engage in curious behaviors, including homing, territorial detection, and tender social interactions, all mediated by a pair of unusual sensory organs, organs dedicated to extending their senses into an inanimate object like dirt or sticks or trees. Like all arachnids, they have eight legs. Unlike all arachnids, they walk on only six. The front two legs are elongated sensory structures called antenniform legs. These legs, three to four times longer than the others, are covered with different sensory hair types that tie directly into the sensory organ. They always sweep the environment in a whip-like motion. Get the name now? They use their antenna legs the way a blind person uses a walking stick, except that these spiders can smell, taste, hear, and feel with these sticks. 
something experts have yet to understand. Whip spiders have big jaws in the front of their face that they use as raptorial claws. Number 12. Coconut crabs. What would you say to crabs strong enough to crack open coconuts and eat cats? It should be a resounding no. I mean, take a look at these terrifying things for yourself. To add more fear to that ferocity, if one of these crabs manages to grab a finger or a limb, it could crack the bones. These massive crabs can grow to a leg span of up to three feet long. That means it can climb your chimney, crawl down it like Santa, and eat your cat. Burgess Latro, or more commonly the coconut crab, is the largest terrestrial arthropod globally, second only to the largest overall arthropod, the Japanese spider crab, which gets an equally resounding no. The coconut crab is endemic to a variety of islands in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Its populations are significantly threatened thanks to, you might have guessed it, human intrusion. Because of its extremely long time to grow to full size, they rarely make it to adulthood, especially when seagulls and humans have taken such a keen interest in destroying their once vast populations. Number 11. Giant Shipworm This creature needs to recede back to the depths from which it came. This nightmare-inducing creature is called the giant shipworm. To add some context, the existence of giant shipworms has been known by experts since the 18th century thanks to the husks they would leave behind. But to see a live one in a recent discovery, a disgusting one at that, these giant shipworms belong to the same family as mussels, oysters, and scallops. You can find these grotesque creatures submerged in the mud in lagoons and rivers. They're harmless for the most part, feeding on the bacteria that forms in the mud. The giant shipworm's digestive system is significantly smaller when compared to its family members. One recent study shows that this monster once lived off sunken, rotting wood, but eventually moved on to the hydrogen sulfide found in greater quantity in the depths of the mud. Number 10. Pelican Spiders 165 million years ago, this little spider thrived. I know, it looks more like a cute little pelican than a creepy crawler, huh? Don't let those adorable looks deceive you. Measuring as small as a grain of rice, this little guy scurries beneath the foliage and the leafy parts of the jungle. Today, there exists upwards of hundreds of types of spiders just like this one, and they're nothing like the spiders you might find in your garage. Where most spiders make a web to capture their prey, these assassins aren't waiting around for their next meal to fall into a trap. These little killers use their beak-like pincers that shoot out and impale their prey. This guy has no need for poisons or toxins. When one of these pincers goes out, it's with deadly accuracy and intent to kill. They've gotten bigger since their grain of rice-sized forebears, making them all the more terrifying. Is it just me? Or when something is deceptively cute, are they that much more terrifying? Thriving in Madagascar and in South Africa and Australia. Number 9. Megalera Garuda, King of the Wasps as if we haven't had enough issues with wasps over the past few years, this terrifying monster is now being hailed as the king of the wasps, which recently was discovered in Indonesia. The two inch long, horrifying insects are shrouded in mystery. Not a single one has been discovered alive. The venomous wasp is the reminiscence of most other wasps, but with a long, barbaric, sickle-shaped jaw. Though much is relatively unknown, experts do know that the species belongs with the digger wasp family. Female digger wasps search for other insects as prey for their young and paralyze the prey by stinging it, then laying its eggs inside. Prey selection is often species specific, and the prey of the Megalera is still unknown. A troubling fact for experts when their rise in activity has risen within the last few years. With its unusual body size and the male's jaws, the new species differs from all known related wasps and was differentiated so much that it was placed in a new genus of its own, Megalera. The new genus name is a combination of the Greek mega, meaning large, and the ending of Dalera, a related wasp genus. Number 8. Bird Dung Crab Spider Bird loves spiders for snacks. They're slow, they're easy to catch and a quick meal. No wonder that over the eons, spiders have developed a way to combat prey, more specifically birds. No bird is going to swoop down and grab its own poop for a snack, so this spider thought, hey, I'll look, 
and smell like that and be safe. Congratulations, Mr. Spider. You've accomplished this goal with astounding success. No bird would ever want to eat you, but flies might. The camouflage is incredible and would easily pass as bird poop when curled up in camouflage mode. Just take a look at it. With its marbleized, spiny black and white coloring to its spotted and wet outer appearance, this spider knows how to look like crap. Even its scientific name implies its bird doo-doo appearance. In fact, its camouflage system works so well that it allows them to sit out in the open to feed without worry from attack from most prey. To deter other predators that aren't birds, it can extend a bunch of thorn-like appendages to prevent anyone from taking a taste. Number 7. The Shoe Bill It's every day it seems that scientists publish some new research correlating dinosaurs and birds' many similarities. For some, that diminishes the belief of dino's original size. For others, it makes birds much more terrifying. The latter should be the case. Birds of prey are some of the deadliest creatures on Earth. The shoebill, also known as the murder bird, might just be the scariest bird to ever walk the planet. It's native to East Africa's marshes, so you won't find it in many places. After today, it may just become native to your nightmares. This master hunter is a menace upon inhabitants it occupies. Don't be fooled by the goofy looking bill slapped onto its face, it's actually a deadly tool. I mean, it does look like a shoe a little, hence the name. But it isn't just worn soles you have to worry about with this gigantic bird. After taking its prey into its beak, the shoebill opened its bill just enough for its victim to poke its head out. Then the shoebill clamps down again with its knife-edged beak and removes its prey's head before swallowing the rest. I know it's violent, but it's nature and the reason the shoebill is one of the most terrifying birds in all the world. Number 6. Star-Nosed Mole This animal looks borderline disgusting, in my opinion, but you be the judge. This blind animal is more capable than you think. With its, you might have guessed, star-shaped nose, it can feel around the subterranean world with impressive efficiency. Don't ask anyone how in detail, but the hairless, feeling tendrils of its nose can guide it with better accuracy than subterranean creatures with sight. That's actually part of its advantage. It can move with a stealth level that nearly predicts the movement of its prey by the vibrations they make on the surface above. These guys are like the living embodiment of the creatures from Tremors. Please don't grow to that size. 2020 was already rough enough. The star-nosed mole's nose is so sensitive thanks to its 100,000 nerve endings in just its nose. That's not the only thing it uses to navigate the deep. Damp tunnels, where the mole likes to make its hunting grounds. Imagine being a creature in the dark and having to fend away from a creature with ruthless digging efficiency and that can see through the walls themselves. That's basically what prey of the star-nosed mole have to deal with. Isn't the animal kingdom a fun place to try and empathize with? Haunting, if nothing else. Number 5. Big Fin Squid there's no wonder these squids are the subject of mythical lore and legend. The big fin squid looks more like a haunting ghost than any type of sea animal. It's like one of the walking monsters from War of the Worlds, which only adds to the terror these things evoke. The big fin squid is its nickname. Its actual name is the Magna Pinna. As you can see, it has long fins, which take up to 90% of its body length. The largest ever seen have been 10 feet long. That is a sea monster, all right. Look at the tendrils on the body of that thing. The tendrils can grow to massive lengths. It floats above the water like a jellyfish, lowering its tendrils into the water. Prey doesn't see the squid, but they do see the tendrils. It's like the squid has fishing poles attached to its tentacles. If something swims by or takes a nibble, the squid strikes. These squid are extremely rare, and it's even rarer to see them hunting. The footage was taken from an underwater offshore shell oil station where the squid can be seen in all its glory. The workers that live on the rig claim they've yet to see another. It very well could be one of the last times we see the squid for a very long time. Number 4. Sarcastic Fringe Head The Sarcastic Fringe Head is a fascinating fish that lives off California's coast in the Northeast Pacific Ocean. 
This species is known for its incredible display when engaged in territorial combat with predators and other challenging fringe heads. The bizarre looking creature is a tube blenny, so called because they live in a tube like structure left vacant by other animals. When these guys are ready for battle, their mouths flare open like a demi gorgon from the hit TV series Stranger Things, revealing a set of teeth equally as menacing. They're notoriously grumpy and jumpy at any creatures that encroach on what it considers its domain. That includes humans. They hold no fear of any creature and will defend themselves and their territory until their dying breath. Once they've settled in, there's no moving them, save for their death of their prey. Ruthless creatures. Number 3. Giant Sichuan Mosquito Mosquitoes are humanity's greatest nemesis. No other creature on the planet has taken more lives than the mosquito, and that's by a landslide. First found in Japan and named by British entomologist John Obadiah Westwood in 1876, these wild mosquito species can have a whopping wingspan of about 8 centimeters. This is one massive bug, let alone a mosquito. These guys might look like they can suck you dry if a swarm is out, but luckily they drink nectar, not blood. There are hundreds of types of mosquitoes, but less than 100 of them actually drink blood. Those are the only ones we need to worry about. Those are our nemesis. These giant guys only live about a few days, so the swarms are about as long lasting as the locusts, but with a ravenous appetite. Number 2. Giant Oarfish Rarely seen at the surface, the giant oarfish is the second to beach on California's coast in less than a week. What's going on with these rare creatures? And what is it with the rise of beached carcasses? To be honest, no one really knows. So far, the best explanation is as the oceans warm with global warming, creatures roam areas never before seen to find the comforts they've grown accustomed to and evolved with. These aren't some small fish. These guys can grow up to 20 feet in length. The most recent to wash up on California's shores was 14 feet. Experts claim the double find can't just be a coincidence. I guess only time will tell. The internet has been buzzing about the oarfish as of late. Some accurate, some not so much. To clear the air a little bit, here are some fantastic features that are true about the giant oarfish. The oarfish is the longest, boniest fish in the world that we know of. They don't taste very good. On the first discovery, they were tested for food quality. Turns out the oarfish turns into a big, disgusting lump of gelatinous goo. Tastes about the same too. They aren't dangerous, though they can grow to be massive. The oarfish only eats plankton and is in no mood for tasting humans. They're one of the only fish in the sea that doesn't have scales. The oarfish is a spectacular creature. Number 1. The Gopher Eel The Gopher Eel is an elusive creature of the deep in which we know very little about. Only a few years passed that the first ever footage from a deep sea rover showed this surprising and remarkable creature. Much like snakes, they can unhinge their jaws to consume prey much larger than themselves. Unlike their serpentine counterparts, these fish accomplish an even grander transformation. These incredible creatures can inflate and deflate their bodies. It can transform from agile, eel-like fish to a giant balloon in just seconds. The footage is absolutely remarkable. Though experts are unsure of the purpose due to the lack of research around these elusive creatures, they suspect its purpose of being self-defense. They've been confusing scientists for years. It goes to show that we don't know much about many of the creatures on our planet. What new creature behavior will we discover tomorrow? What natural element can we extract to help humans better adapt? We often have to look no further than our animal kingdom brothers and sisters to solve many insurmountable problems.